Okay, we're back. So, um, in addition to uh, going to Scotland and seeing Ant-Man, we've also just finished watching Full Metal Alchemist, haven't we? Oh yeah, we did, didn't we? Uh, what I consider to be one of the best animes ever made. Yeah, yeah, I agree with that. Yeah. Um, hang on, let me just go through my, uh, my elite vocabulary, not vocabulary, library of um, animes in my mind. Uh, no, I'm afraid it has to be Dog versus Scissors. I've never <coughs> seen that one. You don't want it, I'm only joking, it's terrible. Oh, okay. It's about this guy who dies, and then his soul is put into a, a sausage dog. And this woman who can, this woman who can read, not, not read, who can, uh, she can hear spirits. So she goes to the pet store where, ah! where he's been taken. Because this random guy finds him, mm -hmm. um, and she buys him, so he stops whimpering. Because all the time he's whimpering, going, "Oh my God, I didn't get to read that last book in the series." Turns out she's the author, yeah. uh, and it's just a bunch of stupid adventures they have. I think it's like only six episodes long or something. And I watched all of them, and I'd very much like my life back. <laughs> you know, those six episode life. Ah! That's all my life is, really. Just six episodes of shit. Yeah, so you didn't like that. Yeah, it so sounds silly, though. I kind of like silly stuff Well, like yeah, it was kind of fully in in that kind of anime kind of way. Like, Gondola! Yeah. Ura Togo Spikaru! Uh There were, like, a couple more characters in it. And they were all, like, these female... He was, like, the only male protagonist in the story. Yeah. Um, the author is a woman. There's this, like... Ah! Sex goddess slash um, superstar singer, and she she's responsible for the sex appeal jokes, mm -hmm. um, like all the jiggles and that. Oh, don't yeah, look yeah, at yeah. me! Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the author is responsible for all the frigid <laughs> jokes because she's you know flat chested and everything. And there's this one scene that's oh god, it was so cringy to watch as well. There was this one scene where she had lost something, and uh, the guy. My main guy decided it would be a good idea to take advantage of his dog skills, newly found dog skills, and trying to get the scent. So she, he starts sniffing her mm -hmm. to try and get a bridge of a gap between her last item and you know her. And uh, while he's sniffing her, she's like, "Oh no, stop, stop!" Because he's like putting his paws on her chest. Yeah. You know, just because she's climbing up on her shoe, and. Uh, She's like, no, you pervert! And then she starts slapping around and cutting him to bits with scissors. Ah, I already had my arrow. Oh, and that's why it's called scissors. That's the only reason it's called scissors. Because she has a pair of scissors. And she uses those scissors to, I don't know, be a Shinigami or something. Yeah. Damn it. Ah! Wait, so she's a writer and a Shinigami? Sort of. She just... You know, I like in the Shin in the Bleach world, like there are some people, there are some humans who just have the power to see ghosts and speak yeah. to them. Well, she has that. She's not like a full-on Shinigami. She's just like more like a ghost whisperer. I forget entirely. I just wiped it from my mind, more hmm. or less. It's almost. Oh god! Straight down. Ah! Oh. Damn it! I rolled into fire. Yeah, you did. Hmm. Anyway, we're not talking about that anime. Oh yeah, yeah, we're talking about Brotherhood. Yeah, Brotherhood Brotherhood's awesome. It is. It's very like I find a lot of the time in some anime that they don't get character differentiation right. It's just uh, all a bit samey, but you really get a good sense of the characters in Brotherhood, don't you? Yeah. I mean, there were a few things I felt they left out in yeah. the in the ending. Yeah. Um like in the last episode, the last episode takes place after everything is just gone. You know, av after it's kind of after the ending. The what the fuck? The last episode is like um, overtime. That's it, overtime. Um, and there were a few things <laughs> they didn't really touch upon, like oh god, I don't want to spoil anything. Oh, okay, I'll just say spoilers alert. Um, there was a thing with Mustang when he lost his eyesight. Yeah. And then all of a sudden he just has his eyesight back. Well, they explained that. I know they explained it, but they explained it and then 
It's it's almost like that uh, Yu-Gi-Oh bridge joke where it's like it is implied, but I am saving your eyesight now, <laughs> and then his eyesight is saved. I don't know about that because there's he only ex- one image you see after that scene where they explain it, and the only the only thing you've got to see that he has indeed got a sight back is that his eyes are black, and he's got a mustache. Oh. What's I got to do with eyesight? Nothing. I was just joking. If anything, that would make it so he didn't get his eye- eyesight back, so he didn't <laughs> shave properly. <laughs> or some shit like that. I don't know. I think, I mean, or once... just forgot to shave. The guy comes in and he says, I'll give your eyes back. I want to because I want to atone-, atone for what I've done. And he basically says, okay, fine. But first you've got to heal my friend's legs as well. All right. Does he become purer, though? Oh, we don't know about that. Yeah. That's another thing. Is that there's... I mean, for the longest time, you didn't know if Wenry and Elric, Elric, uh, Edward, got mm. to got together. Yeah. You know, I thought he was gonna. When he was like sweating on the train, I thought he was like, "Oh, he's gonna make out of her. Uh, he's gonna kiss her goodbye." But yeah. he didn't. And I was like, "What the fuck's going on?" Well, uh, I think it's because in the shonen genre, it's um, considered a little bit taboo to show kissing. Because uh, they don't think it's appropriate or whatever. Yeah, like nobody kissed in that, did they? No. Nah. But it's imp- he made he proposed to her. Oh, uh, one more thing. Yeah. He sort of proposed to her. He didn't have a ring or anything, really. Nah, he, he just, just said, "Hey, I'm hopping on a train. Bye. Uh, will you marry me? Okay, bye." Uh, that's not something you do when you ask somebody to marry you. You don't you don't run away. <laughs> At least she said yes. Ah! <laughs> I don't think this through. My life. But yeah. Um, oh, Come shit, on, attack you me, you dick. Oh, it was fucking um. What's his face? Um, Salim. Yeah. Salim. When he when he grew up, and he grew up pretty fast, in yeah. my opinion. How come? How come that little tiny baby turned into a normal sized toddler? What like at what at what point did that baby turn into a normal sized human? Well, he was like a fetus, wasn't he? So he probably had nine months to be a baby, and then he looked about three oh, years God, old. Oh God! Did did she have to put it? No. Okay. He probably just nutrition and shit. What? What? Is, Attack that me! That doesn't explain anything. What you waiting for the spin move? Oh, yeah, uh, I guess I'm. I'm getting tired of waiting for the spin move, so I think I'm just gonna try and sneak it behind him. Maybe we should try drawing. Yeah, try drawing or something. Is he always gonna? Oh, oh. you bitch! Oh, as if he did it then. I know. You call me a bitch. No him. But um, so your main problem was you thought some of the. Loose ends should have been touched on more. Yeah, I think loose, some of the loose ends have been touched. <laughs> um, the Fuhrer one was touched a little bit because basically, you know, Mustang was working for that guy with a mustache. He was the temporary Fuhrer, wasn't he? Yeah. And um, so he was probably going to become Fuhrer afterwards. Probably. Probably. He had a mustache. Maybe that's what it means to be the Fuhrer. Having a mustache. Is Salim. Salim is the last one, isn't he? Yep. That's so weird. Because he's... Well, he he said this, but it's not strictly true that he's the first hum- homunculus. Uh, phone! Really? Oh. Yeah. Oh, dear. Like, Andrew lived surprisingly long, um, considering the phone was ringing. Anyway, I'm going to steal the controller. <laughs> What is this guy on the floor? Is he... Oh, I see. He's displaying himself. He wants me so bad. No, I cannot penetrate him. A wall is between us. Why must this always happen in tales of love? Why? Why? How could you love him? Who was that? That was uh, Chris, my uh, job advisor. Things have gotten a bit hectic ever since I joined the job center again. They're getting me to do a bunch of stuff all at once, which is a little. Un- I mean, it's good because uh, she's going to get me some volunteer work with the British Heart Foundation, so I can like uh, learn how to use a till and get a little retail experience and hopefully a reference for future jobs. Yeah. But also, I promised I'd help my friend with his animation this week, and it seems like every day something's been, you know, I've been preoccupied. So it's just. Uh, Who's your friend? You know, uh, Brad, who made that um, horror animation. He wanted me to help him with Greg, the agoraphobic serial killer. 
and uh, he just gave me a couple of scenes to do and I've sorted, I've like laid everything out organized it so I can start working on it but I haven't had time to start and I'm just hoping when I have the interview with the Heart Foundation because I'll probably be starting on Monday won't I or something and it'll probably last two weeks and I'll be there for who knows how long I just hope I have enough time to help him hmm well that's the job center for you just a always of... giving you stuff to do yeah and then after that, I want to start working on my animation, because I've been working on that for ages, and it's frustrating me that I can't finish it. Yeah. Oh, you shit. You know what's frustrating me? What? This thing in my nose! What thing in I, I, I firmly believe that there's something living in my nose right now. Why? It's just... Every time I just stick my finger in there, something tickles me. Hmm. And it's not my finger. Oh. oh. This is very, this is quite tricky, isn't it? I gotta figure out what direction I have to be, like where do I have to walk to make it so that I'm behind him after he spins. Yeah, just in case, why don't you fire one behind him? Yeah, when he's coming towards you. That's and an try interesting. Try keeping a straight line. That's an interesting idea, and I'll look into it. But right now, I'm just gonna try and do it this way. Okay. I mean, I'm right, just so you know. You probably are, because you're watching instead of playing. I'm not watching that much. Oh, fuck you! Well, fuck you too, buddy. Um, I'll tell you something. Water is just so different in so many places. Yeah, it's with trace minerals in it, isn't it? Yeah, and it's not just like countries, it's like counties as well, and maybe maybe even different buildings. It's just processed in a different way, or it's processed for longer and it changes the taste. I mean, so far, I find, my favourite water is not in bottles, it's just our tap water. Oh hmm. my god, such a good opportunity. You could have just stayed there on the left. And then that would have been it. Has he got like a match atta attached to his ass or something? Is that know. why it's just lit? Oh dear. Is he always ah. facing you? Oh. I just realized how much he resembles a pair of balls. <laughs> a pair of spiky balls. Hang on a minute. This... This isn't even an original boss. This is mean? just like the mosquito. From Rayman, he's using his spiky balls on you. And look, if those chains weren't there attached to him, then he'd be he'd be using Ray, you know, powers like Rayman. Oh uh, yeah, I guess he is a bit. Little bastard, little bastard. Yes, 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 yes. Oh come that, on! I Why didn't you do it? I was talking to you, and I wasn't looking at which direction no. he was facing. You weren't talking to me for the this longest time. You weren't talking to me. That's the amount. That's I was the listening to you, is what I mean. I wasn't speaking. I'm talking to you right now. Oh, you had such a good opportunity. I to know walk right that past now. It. I didn't walk past it. I wasn't sure which direction he was in, and I didn't want to risk losing my arrow. It's wherever the. I know! You can't lose your arrow! Oh god. Jesus, I thought you were dead then. No, he always gets a little bit behind where you are. Ah! Oh, is it taking him longer every single time you miss? No, he sort of just sort of goes to where you are near. Oh god, it's freaking me out how close he's getting. Jesus, Andrew. It's not a very distance. It's always a little bit behind where you actually are. No, I did it! I did it! I no, shot him! No, Andrew! What the fuck? What the fuck? Why was your arrow over there? I don't know. Oh, my God. I didn't even see that, to be honest. I shot him in the back, and then it just wouldn't... I don't understand. So, does he not face where the arrow is? Is that what it is? He's keeping away from the arrow? I don't know. This better be it. 
Yeah! Hooray! Right in the it. act! And uh, uh, yes. I can see everything! I see am him. everything! You can see his semen. You you are his semen now. Shut up. He is. You have just exploded. And oh my god, we've only got one boss left and then that's it. Yeah. Should we even do the last boss? I don't feel like doing the last boss. We could have a little go at it, but we don't have to if it's too frustrating. Alright. Well, I'm just going to go to the checkpoint, because I have a feeling there's a puzzle to this last place. Um, and then end the episode. See you later. Okay, bye.